Hey everyone, in this video let's understand how we can use m in Power Query to clean a string like the following one that I have on the screen. So you can see that in this text string I have at the rate, I have underscore, hash, I have slash and you and I have numbers as well as exclamation mark. So what I want to do is I want to simply remove all those characters that I do not want from this string but I want to do that in one single step and also without using the UI of Power Query. So you can see that if I click on the result variable, I get a string which doesn't contain any of those tech, any of those characters that I've already shown you. So let's get started and I will show you how we can do that. So let's start by removing those steps that we have already created. So the first thing I can do is simply duplicate this query so that in case if I mess up, I still have a query that I can reference because there is no going back in Power Query. And let's remove these steps. And the idea behind being able to remove the characters that we do not want from the string is that we are going to create some lists. And inside those lists, we are going to create some values that either we want in this string or not. And that totally depends upon your requirement. So let's click on FX. And the first list that I'm going to create will contain all the capital letters of English language so I'm going to write capital A dot dot capital Z so basically this will create a list comprising of all those alphabets from A to Z and if I click outside you can see that I get A to Z in capital format and similarly what I want to do is create a list of cursive letters so I can write lowercase a dot dot Z and if I click outside I get A B C D next let's create a list comprising of all the numbers so I can write 0 to 9 and I get 0 1 2 3 till 9 and I also want one more list which will have numbers stored as a text I will not use it but in case if you have something in your data that you want to keep then you might need to use this text the, these values that we will store as text so I can write list.transfer form and what I want to do is simply apply a transformation over this list so this list is basically custom three step and on this for each row I'm going to apply a transformation so I can write each number dot two text and then just use underscore so let's click outside and we get an error because power query is case sensitive I need to make sure that C is also capital so you can see that the values have shifted from right towards the left and that denotes that the data type has been changed to the text data type and now let's create another list which will contain some specific characters such as space comma and dot so let's click on that and we have a list comprising of three values and in the final step what I will do is simply combine all those lists into one single list so I can write custom one sorry I do not need the curly break brackets so I can write ampersand custom two and custom three so let's click outside you can and you can see that I have capital letters as well as cursive letters and I also get the numbers in that list and using this logic we are going to remove all those characters that we do not want from that text string so now the next step next step would be to simply rename these variables so that they are a little bit more readable and also I want to compile or you can say consolidate all these variables into a single one single variable so that we are not using a lot of space in the applied steps so let's see how we can do that now let's go to advanced editor so that we can write the code ourselves so I will click on advanced editor and let's zoom in a little bit so we can start by renaming the first variable so I can write it as capital alphabets alphabets the second list would be cursive alphabets then we have numbers then these ones are numbers stored as text so i can write number as text numbers as text the last one i can say something like remaining remaining 
characters and the final step would be just one list because everything is getting consolidated into one single list and if I oh I also need to rename these as well so if I click after that what I can do is simply click on done let's make sure that after in we are referring the one list variable if I click outside you can see that variables have been renamed but now let's simply consolidate all these variables into one single step so for that we can say characters to keep equal to and then I can start my let statement and let's close this by providing one in statement as well let's indent them so that we know the we know how the code is flowing and here what I'm going to write is one list and in the last one I can write characters to keep so if I click on done uh, we get an error where are we getting the error custom 3 so it should be numbers not custom 3 so if I click on done you can see that we still get the same exact list but we have now consolidated everything into one single step and I think you will agree that this is more clean and more readable and more manageable as well because eventually what you can do is simply write some comments so that your end user can understand what you are actually trying to do here so the next step would be just simply create another variable and we can write as result now what I'm going to do is simply select all those text from this string which are in that one list variable so I can write text dot select source and one list and I might need to make some changes in the one list as well because this might throw some error because I have a 8 in my list I'm not sure if it is being considered as a text or as a number so if I click on done I get an error let's see what is happening text dot select one list sorry it should not be one list it should be characters to keep because after the in statement the one list variable will not be accessible because the top level is of is the top level variable which contains the one list is characters to keep so if I click on done I get an error we cannot the value 0 to type text so I think this, this should be numbers as text as well as ampersand and the remaining characters so if I click on done you can see that I get a list even though right now it is not removing the numbers from the list from the text string so let's see how we can fix that so let's go back to the advanced editor and try to read the code that we have written so let's see we are concatenating capital cursive alphabets numbers as text and what we can do okay so actually I'm trying to keep the numbers I, I'm not trying to keep the values so I need to remove the numbers as text variable and if I click on done you can see that we have cleaned our string so if you want to keep the numbers you can use the all those list that you have created but if you do not want to keep those keep certain values then just simply omit that list now let's see how we can convert this code into a custom function and then we will be able to use that function in our data set against any column so let's click on done and I'm going to create a new query so I've already copied some data so I can go to advanced editor and let's just paste the code in here and in the last step I'm going to write in source and if I click outside and click on done you can see that I have a column comprising of two rows and what I want to do is simply clear clean the the string and strip off any characters that I do not want so what we can do is go to our data to query go to uh, that home tab and click on advanced editor and to convert this code into a function what we can do is open the brackets and I'm going to input I'm going to take an input which will be of the text data type and which will signify the string that we want to actually uh, f the string from which we want to remove the text characters so I can write input string 
as text and then use equal to and the go to operator and instead of source what I can do is simply I can say let's say remove that text string and assign source is equal to input string and if I click outside you can see that we have now converted that query into a function and I can name it as function clean string or something like that now let's go back to our query and what we want to do is simply go to add columns click on invoke custom function and let's not bother naming the column so I can use fx clean string and I'm going to provide the column name which is the data and if I click on OK you can see that we have cleaned the string we have removed every character that we did not want so this string becomes power bi this one becomes antrik sharma says hello and if you want to take a look at the full code you can simply just see how we have used function inside our data and i think that was all for this video and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video until then have a great day